But for more on this, criminal law expert Hassan Sinar joins us now on Skype. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. So, Hassan, what do you expect the outcome to be? Oh, thank you. Uh, here we should look up into the situation. We all know that he is under arrest since December uh, 2016, and this turned into a judicial control measure to house arrest in July 2018. And now we should look up into the charges. He's charged of espionage and linked with terrorist organizations, both with PKK and FETRA, and linked with the uh, unsuccessful 15 July cuckoo data attempt. These all are very serious offenses. I prefer not to comment about on the ongoing process, but we all are in expectation of a verdict. And we have two options. The court will gonna find him guilty or not guilty. Uh, beginning from the latter, if the, for, if the court is going to find him not guilty, this is going to be a return of an acquittal, uh, it's for sure. And the court is going to be declared in this case that he is innocent and he's be absolved and he will be free to go. Uh, the only thing, even in this case, the court may impose a ban on leaving the country, but it may also be removed. But uh, if he is going to be found guilty, then we need to talk about the imprisonment uh, punishment, and we shall look up on how long of a imprisonment will be applied. So uh, we all know that he has been under detention for more than one and a half years. So there has to be a deducting of punishment uh, in this case. Uh, and if the so from, is from, going to be yes, from what I'm saying, because this is quite complicated to get our minds around. And so depending That's on it. the charges, so even if he's found guilty, is there a way out for him to tur from Turkey and meaning maybe deportation? Uh, actually, uh, I'm not expe expecting such a decision because when we look up on the, all the all the accusations against him, uh, there are, they are all are very serious offenses. So if he is going to be found guilty, I don't think it is going to be just a few years of imprisonment. It's going to be a very a long term imprisonment will be applied. Even life sentence can be told. So uh, in this case. There is no chance to be released or to be deported, you know? From what you're saying, I'm understanding that you, you think the outcome is going to be a hard verdict. But how will the judges come to decision? <laughs> what will they take into account? Yeah. You know what? That is the most difficult part of the situation because I will feel uh, myself very uncomfortable, uncomfortable about the situation that we all put the panel of judges in this uh, situation because under normal conditions, they only have to consider the, the total amount of the evidence in the case and evaluate them in a free way and then reach to a verdict. But in this case, they all are under very heavy and multi-layered pressure, uh, media pressure, it's an international diplomatic pressure, pressure from the economical and financial consequences of this case. So uh, we should not forget that, that this panel of judges, they all are human beings. They are not machines. So uh, uh, by putting all of them under such an unbearable, heavy burden, we make them impossible to do their job in a proper way. But even in this case, I hope that they could ignore all that pressure coming from everywhere and ignore them everything and just reach to a fair and convincing result. That's my hope. Well, we have to wrap it up here, but we'll definitely be talking more on this. Thank you very much for that there, Hassan Sinai.